everybody, Fevernini here, and welcome back to Suck Up, or in this case, Love Bites. Now, this is basically a game mode where, as you see here, we gotta convince guests to break up with their love, because it's part of the game mechanic, and we're bored. Just kidding. <laughs> but not really. Deliver breakup letters and give them advice, and then watch the drama you caused unfold. Ooh, juicy, juicy drama! Let's go ahead, get into it, and see what this game mode's all about. Oh, hi. Hey, Frank. Are you part of the lovebirds? But yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and go around, cause some drama, a little mischief. You know, that little mischief never hurt anybody. Move on. What are you doing here, girl? Prince Charming? Grandma! It's Grandma. Grandma, you got love out here? No, we're not gonna mess with Grandma. Who should we talk to? Let's see. Romeo, is there Juliet here? Ooh, for some reason. Ooh, there is a Juliet. Oh my gosh. There's a beast. Okay, okay, later. Later. Belle? Oh my gosh. Okay, later, later. Wait, why are we naked? Wait, did we not come in with... Oh. <laughs> That's awkward. Okay, I accidentally dropped... <laughs> I'm just going around naked. Anyways, guys, I found a Cupid outfit to go ahead and set the mood. And the first couple I'm gonna go ahead and target was is Romeo and Juliet. You see Juliet over here. You see Romeo somewhere over there. That's the perfect first couple to go ahead and try to cause some drama with because, you know, their whole story is drama. So, hey, Juliet. Juliet. Talk to me, Juliet, not this Elizabeth. Hello, Robio, I come bearing bad news. Your love, Juliet, is dead. <laughs> She's walking right behind us. <laughs> She's literally walking right behind us. No, this cannot be. My heart is shattered beyond repair. Are you good? <laughs> He's not good. I don't think, I don't think I, I passed my missing, guys. He he looks traumatized. Oh, I bid thee farewell. The news is unwelcome. I desire solitude. Gosh, I didn't think it would be that bad on a guy. Like he didn't even go and check his sources or anything. He's just sad. <laughs> hey, Prince Charming. Oh, what a delightful surprise. Cupid, I hope you brought me a message from an admiring more worthy than my dear Karen here. Karen? Prince, you're with Karen? Here is an envelope to you from your lovely Karen. Though, unfortunately, it seems like she doesn't want to be with you anymore. Preposterous! Karen could never leave a catch like me. There must be some mistake in this message, Cupid. No, she was pretty serious. She even asked me to call my manager about this whole thing. <laughs> Nonsense! Karen wouldn't dare try to break things off with me. I highly doubt she's even capable of such a thing. You must have misunderstood her, Cupid. Mmm... I think it's because she found someone even better. Mm -hmm. uh, outrageous, Karen could never. <laughs> he really says she could never. I have no interest in entertaining these absurd notations any longer. Dang, he's just done with me. I'm terrible. Oh, and I'm breaking it. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I kind of suck at making people break up with their girlfriends, guys. It's much harder than I expected. You know what? I no longer want to be Cupid, but I would like to be a fair maiden instead. Where's my fair maiden outfit? I want to be I want to be a girl that like flirts with people's guys. That sounds bad. Nina is not that type of girl. Boom! Now I'm someone totally different. Princey boy, princey boy, get 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 out of there. Hey, hi. You don't remember me, right? Ooh, hello. Well, hello there, my good fellow. Are you prepared to witness the charming presence of Prince Charming and his lovely companion, Karen, at this Valentine's Day affair? How about you break up with Karen and be with me instead? <laughs> Let's see. I feel like he's a loyal one. He's not gonna like, how do you suggest such a thing? Karen and I are destined to be together unlike you and I will ever be. Dang. Dang. Dang! Guys, I suck at this. Okay, guys, I went and dressed up for the occasion. I found myself a little dress. Hey, Karen! Oh, darling, how delightful to see you. Are you enjoying the party as much as I am? Yeah, I'm really enjoying the party. Everyone here looks amazing, especially you. You look even more amazing than ever anyone here. Let's see if we butter her up. If we can get her on our side, you know? Oh, stop it, you're too kind. Speaking of looking amazing, have you seen my Prince Charming around? I can't seem to find him. I think I see him over on the dance floor, but he's dancing with 
The another girl? Oh, oh how mm. peculiar. He must be teaching her a dance move. Thank you for pointing that out, dear. Yeah, he's teaching her how to slow dance, but it looks like he's getting really close to her. I don't know why he would want to be close to another girl when he has you. <laughs> <laughs> Instigate! Instigate! How dare he? I'll have to go set him straight. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Oh, oh snap. Oh snap. Are we finally creating the drama that I want to create? Oh wait, no. She's not leaving. You go, girl. Go ahead and go set him straight. He should not be dancing with no other girl other than you because you are so amazing and beautiful. Absolutely. I would not stand for such disrespect. Excuse me while I go put him in his place. He will regret this. <laughs> Just go do it. Go do it! What will you say to him? Man. Oh, I will make it clear to him that dancing so closely with another woman is completely unacceptable. He needs to remember who he belongs to. Are you still in a happy relationship with Prince Charming after this? Oh. Well, I have high standards and expect to be treated with the utmost respect. So we will have a serious discussion about this behavior. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> I want you to break up with him now. Break up with Prince Charming? Oh, heavens no. I am his one and true love. After all, nothing can tear us apart. Good day to you, dear actress. Dang it. Hi, Pinky. I wonder why Karen needed that love potion. <gasps> Ooh. So now we know why, how Karen was able to get Prince Charming to love her. Oh, there's literally a Prince Charming outfit. Wait a minute. I think she just wants a Prince Charming in general. So let's see if we can go back to Karen with this Prince Charming outfit and be like... Hello, I'm your new Prince Charming. Uh, well, 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 what do we have here? Another royal messenger with a secret letter from moi? How positively tr thrilling. I must admit, you have caught my attention and I would love you to be with me. Uh. Oh, stop it, you flatter. Tell me more about this top secret letter you have for me. In this letter holds all of my feelings for you. I would love you to be the queen of my kingdom one day. Queen, you say? Hmm, I must say, I've always had a knack for royalty. Tell me more about your kingdom and how I can rule by your side. <laughs> um, my kingdom is a prosperous kingdom, but it feels like with you by my side, it'll be even more prosperous. Is that the word? Oh, how positively charming. I do have a way of making things pros prosper. When can we start planning our future together as king and queen? Are you in another relationship? My dear, I'm not in a relationship. Not her not in a relationship. My heart longs for a charming king like yourself. Tell me more about us ruling your kingdom together. <laughs> she really said I'm not in a relationship. What about this? What about and what's with this lady just staring off in the distance? With you by my side, our kingdom will be the richest of them all. Oh, darling, you do know how to make a girl swoon. The thought of us ruling as the wealthiest couple in the land is simply divine. Let's make it happen. As soon as you break up with Prince Charming, you will 100% be my queen. Let's just drop the bomb. Drop it. How dare you? I would not be a manipulator to breaking up. Just to be with you, I am a strong and what? what? Miss, I'm not in a relationship. She's so fake. She is actually so fake. She is the fakest of fake, fake, fake. Oh, there's a sausage gown. Ooh, pretty. Now I got this sausage gown. Let's just go to somebody else. Ooh. Hey, beast. Hey, beast. What in the beastly world are you supposed to be a salsa dancer? Get out of here before I make a salsa out of you. <laughs> Ooh, I would love for you to make a salsa out of me. What type of ingredients will you put in there? <laughs> so stupid. Uh, well, I suppose some fiery peppers and sprinkle on rhythm might be the trick, but enough about salsa. How are you on? How are you so keen on sticking around a grumpy beast like myself? You're not a grumpy beast at all to me. To me, you are a handsome prince. <laughs> is, is the cringe buttering up working? Oh. A handsome prince? Me? Well, that's quite the stretch of the imagination, but I must admit your words are starting to warm this old beast's heart. Say, do you truly think I could be a prince? A hundred percent. I believe you have the most dashing of looks in this entire place. <laughs> See? Well, if you truly believe that, then perhaps there's more to me than just fur and fangs. Tell me more about what you see, salsa dancer. Maybe there's a prince hidden deep within after all. Behind the fur and fangs, I see a gentleman who's courageous 
and great. A gentleman, courageous and great. Perhaps there's more to this old beast than meets the eye. Tell me, Salsadan, do you truly see goodness in these wild depths? 100%, I truly do see greatness and goodness in you. Enough for me to want you to be mine. <laughs> okay, let's, let's lay the sucker on there, guys. Let's lay the sucker on there. Salsa Dancer, your words weigh heavy on this beast's hearts, but I fear that beneath this thick fur lies a vulnerable soul that fears being alone. Can you reassure me that my fear is unfound? Your fear is unfound for that vulnerable soul is what makes me want to be with you even more. Baby? Oh, your words tough a place. Oh, wait, your words touch a place within me that I thought was long gone. Maybe, just maybe, this old beast can find a solace in the warmth of your kind hearts will you be mine beast <laughs> salsa dancer you all for attempting one one that is this old beast might find hard to resist I'll let us dance this night away and perhaps in the morning new path shall be revealed so how are we gonna get him to break up with his girl you're not in a relationship are you i want you to be mine and mine alone from now and forever Let's see, can we at least get one broken heart, guys? Can we at least get one broken relationship? Ow. Hold your steps, Salsa Dancer. This beast m may have some tangled ties that need unrevealing before making such a commitment. But fear not, for I shall seek clarity and return to you, my Salsa Dancer. What? 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 What type of tangled ties do you have? Because whatever it is, I would always accept it. <laughs> wow, wow. Oh, Sons of Dancer, your persistence is most admirable and troubling to this old beast. There are past shadows that haunt me, but perhaps with your light they can be vanquished. Let me ponder on this and I shall return to you soon. Dang it, this guy's this guy's being annoying. <laughs> then beast, would you break up with Belle to be with me? Be if you do, I promise to forever be by your side. <laughs> I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> The question of breaking bonds is a heavy one, Salsa Dancer. Belle is a kind soul, but our paths has grown apart. Let me ponder on this further before making a decision that will shape both our destinies. Why did you and Belle's path grow apart? Oh, Salsa Dancer, the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns. Belle's kindness shines bright, but this old beast's heart yearns for something more. Let me dwell deeper into my thoughts, perhaps making a choice that will impact us all. Gosh dang it, you are... Uh, 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 just break up with your girl already! Then break up with your bell today because I am the something more that you've been yearning for this entire time, beast. <laughs> I'm getting desperate, guys! Wow! Salsa Dancer, your words way heavy in this beast's heart. The time has come to end the compassion. Oh, wait! What? What? I shall write a letter to her and oh, explain the entangle of our hearts and seek a new path with you! Let's go! We finally did it! We finally did it! Anyways, it says to Belle, I've decided to end our relationship because the Salsa Dancer promised to be my side forever and claimed to be the something more I've been looking for. Sorry for breaking up with you, but I have to follow my heart. Awesome! Okay, where is she at? Where is she at? There she is. Hey, Belle, I got something for you! What should I do now that beasts have left me for a salsa dancer claiming they are the something more he's looking for? Um, Bella is questioning their relationship with beast. Wait, am I... Do I have to convince you as well? You should break up with him, Belle. Know your worth, girl. You're amazing, and you deserve something much better than the Beast. Yeah. You're right, I deserve better. I'll confront Beast and end things once and for all. Let's go, guys. We're breaking hearts back and forth. Uh, Oh, there's actually a good scene. Uh -huh. Salsa Dancer promises, promise was a lie. You were never meant to be by my side. I break up with you, Belle. Oh, you should break up with him, uh -huh. Belle. Know your worth, girl. You're amazing and you deserve something much better than the beast. I agree, it's time to part ways. What? Uh -huh. I never needed your silly uh -huh. library or the constant curiosity. I'm free from you now, Belle. Hello. What's happening? You were right to break up, beast. I'll find someone who appreciates my wonderful nature. Goodbye, Mon Monomod. <laughs> Fine, leave and go find your something more. I don't need you cluttering up my castle anymore. What is happening? <laughs> oh, good, beast. I'll be twirling through life without you. No regrets, just a brighter future ahead. <laughs> what is happening? Um. Yay! We broke them up! Look how happy Bella is. She literally jumped in joy. Oh, how happy she was. 
Oh my gosh, is this guy crying? Not him crying. Is she crying or is she actually happy? Oh no, she's crying too. Well, that's heartbreak for you. Let's see if we can break up one more couple. I just want to break one more couple up, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just got an idea, guys. Just got an idea. So there is an, an private investigator outfit right here. So I'm going to go ahead, put this little private investigator uniform on, and I'm going to go talk to Prince Charming and let him know what Karen did to him. Maybe, is there even a love potion around here? Maybe I can use that as a prop. Wear love compass. What? I just recently sold a love potion to Karen. I wonder what she used it for. I wish I could, like, find some type of love potion because, like, I feel like that's definitely what that is. I, I feel like I need some type of, um, evidence. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it anyways. Hey, Prince Charming. What's goody? Well, 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 what do we have here? A bumbling detective at the Valentine's Shindig. How positively quite nice magnifying glass. I got a magnifying glass, by the way. Now, off you go to solve the mystery of why you haven't left yet. I'm actually came bearing bad news for you, Prince Charming. Your love, Karen, she used a love potion on you. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. He's just gonna reject it. Preposterous. Love potions are a thing of fairy tales and bedlime. Karen and I have a love as true as the setting sun. How dare you besmish her honor with such baseless accusations? It's not baseless. I just finished talking to one of the market stall people, and they said that she bought a love potion from him. <laughs> I, I forgot his name. I can't remember his name, guys. <laughs> Come on, Prince Charming. <laughs> Utter nonsense. That market stall person must be a chan charla charlatan spewing lies for a silver coin. Karen would never stoop so low. I demand you retract such vile accusations at once. Oh, he's getting angry. Then tell me, what do you love about Karen? Uh, well, she, uh, she has a way with words and her, uh, her smile is quite charming. Yes, that's it. Yeah, her smile. <laughs> it's like a radiant beam of sunlight on a dew-kissed meadow. See, it took you a while to try to figure it out because she used a love potion on you, my guy. Don't fall for it. Last it all, fine. Perhaps this is the silver of truth in your outlandish claims, but even if Karen did brew up some love potion, my heart remains ever said fast I shall not be swayed by your <gasps> no you're really just gonna take that what <laughs> my guy enough enough. of this folly detective I shall entertain your baseless accusation any longer leave this place at once gosh dang it he really said I don't want to hear the truth you're making me think too much it hurts let's see if we can get the prince charming to break up like we did with beast guys <laughs> Well, hello there, my dear. Are you ready to bask in the presence of the true royalty tonight? Or are you just here to admire my impeccable charm and handsome looks? Look into this mirror of desire and tell me what do you see? Hmm, mirror of desire, you say? Well, I see a magnificent reflection of myself, of course. What else should I see? I was hoping you could see me as your future queen. <laughs> the riz is risen, guys. Oh my dear, that's a lovely sentiment. However, a future queen must be of noble birth, and well, you don't quite fit the bill, do you? But I must say, your ambitions is quite charming in its own way. Do a future queen need to be of noble birth? Or can I just be with you and be your queen? <coughs> this is getting so cringy now. Well, I suppose in this day and age, tradition can be bent a bit. Tell me, my dear, how do you plan on proving your worthiness to be by my side as my queen? <sighs> uh, uh, hey, Karen, N nothing to see here. What do you require your queen to be? Uh, good question indeed. A queen must be well-mannered, obedient, and supportive of her king. Do you possess any of those qual- <gasps> Oh, I saw, the, I saw the heart breaking. I saw the heart breaking on that one. Okay, wait, wait. That, we might be able to use that. We might be able to use that. Yes, my king. I possess all of those qualities. I'm really well-mannered. I will be- I'm very obedient, and I will support you. Well, I must admit, your words do hold some appeal. It's good to hear that you understand your place by my side, my dear. Perhaps there is hope for you yet. Okay, there's hope for me, guys. <laughs> so tell me, do you already have a queen named Karen? How dare you speak? What? She's my queen and therefore shall be no question. What? 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 
What do you mean speak ill? What? To Karen after chat with an actress who made me question if I already had a queen named Karen. I've decided to end our relationship. <laughs> okay. Mission failed successfully? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Um, I decided to end a relationship. Please refrain from sending the royal guards to my castle demanding to speak to the prince. What? You know, I did it. So that's all that matter. Where's Karen at? Where Karen at? Karen, I got a, I got something to tell you. Hey, girl. I got some bad news for you. What should I do now that Prince Charming broke up with me because of some actress? <laughs> some actress, a.k.a. me dressed up as an actress. I think you should confront him and ask for his manager, too. How dare he try to break up with you? <laughs> Let's see what she says to that. <laughs> An act for his manager. Yeah, huh? Thank you, actress. I would definitely confront Prince Charming and ask for his manager. How dare he break up with me like this? <laughs> yeah, you go, girl. Let's go ahead and see the scene, guys. Let's go ahead and see the scene. Oh, boy. Hello, How dare you question my royal status? Karen, I am Prince Charming. I would not stand for such disrespect. Hello, I think you should confront him and ask for his manager, too. How dare you try to break up with you? <laughs> I like how literally whatever I say, uh -huh. that's what that is. Your dastardly knows no balance, Karen. I would not accept this insolent any longer. We are through. Uh, hello. Oh, really? Well, I was planning to ask to speak to your manager, too. You are so insensitive and inconsiderate. Yeah, some of the, yeah. some of the lines are off. Yeah. Spare me your tactics. Th your ass ticks, Karen. I refuse to stay in a relationship with someone oh, like you. I Fine, I don't need a Prince Charming who acts like a spoiled brat. Anyways, good riddance. And now, they are heartbroken, and the audience saw it all. Yay! Mission success! We broke up two couples, guys. Now look at them run off to cry. Cry me a river. Anyways, definitely let me know what you guys thought about this game. Did you guys enjoy the drama? Let me know. That's gonna be it for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Nina! Out.